Good afternoon. This is the uh, final video lecture for our 2019-2020 school term in 11th and 12th grade English at uh, Grace Christian Academy. Uh, I know that this has been an unusual experience for all of us to, uh, to attempt to learn through these videos. Uh, and I'm not sure that it's been entirely successful. Any, any uh, uh, shortcoming in all of this is my fault, certainly. Um, but we're at the end of it now. Um, you should be watching this video on Monday, May 18th, 2020 which is the uh, Monday of our last school week. Uh, by the time you watch this, I will have graded and returned your uh, end of course essays uh, with my comments. Um, uh, I must say it was an educational experience for me both to, uh, both to uh, Grade, grade them and, and read them, and uh, also uh, somewhat enjoyable to return them to you. Um, and I hope that y'all have learned uh, something from all that we did. It appears to me that most of you uh, did uh, improve your writing over where we were back in, uh, in September when all of this began. So I hope that there will be some benefit to you from all of this. Uh, uh, your essays were, uh, in many cases, a surprise to me. Uh, many of you uh, 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 surprised me with what you gave me. Um, I also hope that you have learned a little bit through reading the courses that we looked at, reading the different materials that they've, they've given you something to look at and a, a little bit of a increased depth in your understanding of, of uh, life and of uh, uh, how we should behave, how we should live. Um, because that's, that's part of the purpose of reading literature. Uh, with that in mind, I want to discuss the final assignment that has been posted, uh, and that is due Thursday uh, the 21st. It's to be turned in to me in person at, uh, at our final last uh, end of course meeting, which is going to be a face-to-face in-person gathering. Uh, bring your essays then. Obviously, they're not going to be graded. Your grades will have been turned in and, and calculated before then. But I want to hear what you think about something. You will remember that early on in our time together, I uh, asked the question whether there were objective standards that make a, uh, a literary composition of any kind uh, good or bad. And there was a little bit of discussion about that. Most of you seemed to think, though, that, that there really wasn't, that it was matter, a matter of personal preference. And you liked it, it was good. If you didn't like it, it wasn't good. Um, if you have, uh, have listened to uh, the, or watched the videos and listened to some of the things that we've talked about, uh, you might gather that I, I think that uh, although there may not be an absolute uh, 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 sort of a grading scale that you could put on a book or a poem or anything and say it gets an A or a B or a C, uh, that um, some literary compositions are clearly and obviously and objectively better than others. And uh, there are things we can look at to, uh, 
to decide whether something is, is good or bad. So, so the essay prompt that I've given you, and let me find it here. This, this is your essay prompt, and I want an essay, no more than five paragraphs, no more than five paragraphs, an essay answering this question. What would make a book or a short story or a poem or any other literary composition worth reading twice? Uh, answer that question to me. Describe what in your mind would make a novel or a, uh, or a, uh, a uh, short story or a poem worth reading again after you read it the first time? Uh, I want to hear your thoughts about it and, and see, see what you have to say about it. So uh, I look forward to doing that. Um, lunch will be provided on Thursday. It's at 1 p.m. It's at the, uh, the fellowship room at the North 7th Street Church of Christ here in Harlingen. That's located, as you might imagine, on North 7th Street. Uh, 2205 North 7th Street to be specific. It's, it's on 7th Street between, uh, between Harlingen High School, uh, actually the playing fields at Harlingen High School, and uh, The Loop. And it will be on the, uh, the west side of the road if, if you're coming from the direction, if you're coming from The Loop, it will be on your right hand side. If you're coming the other way, it will be on your left. And uh, there is a sign, but it's not a big building, so uh, be careful. 2205 North 7th Street. Be there at 1 p.m. on Thursday, May the 21st. That is, uh, that is, uh, would have been our traditional class time. It's, it's the time that we would have been, uh, meeting for our final time together. Uh, it's a different location because uh, the, uh, the location we were using isn't available to us. Um, I hope that you'll join me there uh, and Mrs. Roselle, she'll be there with us. Uh, you need to reply to the email I sent you uh, telling you we were going to have this because if you don't reply, I won't buy lunch. Uh, I do hope that you'll turn out for it. I, I think it would be a good idea for us to uh, uh, say uh, goodbye to one another in person. And with that being said, uh, good day.